Hi, I'm John the Engineer Termel, and I wrote Justin Trudeau a letter asking him to help Terry Parker, Medpot Magnificent Seven, get leave to appeal their dismissals by the Ontario Court of Appeal to the Supreme Court of Canada. Now, it was kind of neat that I ran into him during the Toronto Danforth uh, by-election and got to put him on the spot in public. And I'll put that video on in a moment. So, um, I got the applications in the Supreme Court of Canada filed. You'll see that too. And then my letter to Justin Trudeau asking him to help us keep his father's promise, even if 40 years late. Care promised he'd legalize marijuana and he let us down. <laughs> I <laughs> picketed his dad for five years. Every Thursday, every Thursday, I picketed at Parliament at 2 o'clock. That was nice to Pierre. He was always nice to me. You know, I beat him up on my like policies. To you. I like to tease you for it, but no. Thank you. He said. promised to legalize pot and he didn't. And that pisses me off. Who's going up for med pot engineer? This is the Terry Parker here. He's got to legalize marijuana. No, they never did it. They said they would. Was that a Anyway, I got seven cases in the Supreme Court and Terry's one of them. Watch us go. Why it's important to vote for me? Well, this is the plume of radiation coming from Fukushima last year in April. And we all got hit with us, right down in nuclear fallout. And on March 25th, Health Canada turned off all their fallout detectors, so all the pregnant women in BC weren't warned to stay indoors, and baby deaths tripled. Aww, oh, Stephen Harper's heroes, to not cause a panic. But if you see my videos, I was screaming, take cover! All right, well now we're all gonna get a really big bunch of cancers. And you'll also find that I wanted to mass produce marijuana to fight those cancers, because marijuana cuts lung cancer tumor growth in half. The truth is coming out that marijuana kills cancer. And marijuana's good for Alzheimer because it boosts brain cell growth. Yay! It's so sharp and they're so dull. So anyway, that's the thing. Now I see Justin Trudeau in the audience and I've picked in Parliament Hill for five years in the early 80s with my bankers are crooks and abolish interest rate sign. But the biggest disappointment of the whole Liberal Party was you guys never okay, came out of the promise to legalize marijuana. Thank you. So do it! So, today, the 23rd of March, we are filing the seven applications for leave to appeal to the Supreme Court of Canada of the Medpot Magnificent Seven, V. Terrence Parker, Gary Pallister, Mark McDonald, Deborah McIntyre, Rob McGrady, Wayne Hearn, and Sean Maloney, all exemptees, except for Parker, the guy who should have been exempted by the regime and for whom the regime never convinced this doctor to participate. So he's arguing, A, they never complied if they never exempted me. And after this, we'll pass along a copy to, to Justin Trudeau and say, hey, Pierre never kept his promise to legalize marijuana 40 years ago. Justin should do it. So I'm going in to follow the papers of the Magnificent Seven at the Supreme Court of Canada. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Magnificent Seven are officially filed in the Supreme Court of Canada to be adjudicated. So we're going to find out if the fact Terry Parker, his doctor, never signed. Does that mean that the MMAR never complied? And that means the Parker decision took effect and never stopped. Which means all those convictions are bogus and are all going to have to be dropped. We hope. So the charge of the magnificent MedPod 7 at the Supreme Court of Canada filed March 23rd, 2012. Now the fun begins. We're going to go send a copy over to Justin Trudeau now. Okay, I'm at the Confederation Building in Ottawa, the office of Justin Trudeau, where I'm going to hand a copy of the Terry Parker application for leave to appeal to the Supreme Court of Canada. So I'm going to give him one that says, Hey, my greatest disappointment with the Liberal Party was that Pierre Trudeau's promise to legalize marijuana was never kept. You do it! Join the engineer.
So here's my letter to Justin Trudeau explaining how he can help Terry Parker and the Magnificent Seven at the Supreme Court of Canada. As a candidate in the Toronto Danforth federal by-election, Don Neal's United Church debate you attended, you teased me about the five years I'd spent picketing the House of Commons at question period 2 p.m. every Thursday after picketing the Bank of Canada at high noon. You were 8 to 13 in those years, and I bet you noticed the guy with the white hard hat running for mayor of Ottawa, MPP, or MP in dozens of Ottawa area elections, and picketing Pierre every Thursday. I thought it was serendipitous that you were at my debate so I could put you on the spot over your father, liberal Pierre Trudeau's broken promise to my generation to decriminalize marijuana and urge you to do it. And the next time, and the next, especially with your party's recent pronouncements on the MedPod promise, yet again, been there, done that. We can't wait until liberals are back in power with Fukushima cancers not looming on the horizon, but arriving every day, it's time for action to legalize anti-cancer cannabis right now. See my videos during the Fukushima crisis and the last general election at johntermel.com slash dreamteam.htm, where I urge pregnant women to take cover after Health Canada turned off the fallout detectors. Baby deaths tripled. YahooGroups.com slash group slash medpod slash messages is my engineering log of reports over the past dozen years on trying to have the courts strike down the prohibitions on cannabis, now culminating in the appeals of MedPot Magnificent Seven appellants who have established medical need. Six are now exempted, and non-exempted Terry Parker is the epileptic who won the right to medical access for all Canadians in 2000, resulting in 4,000 possession charges dropped during the two years when it was found the NMAR exemption to the CADSA prohibitions hadn't worked. No bogus convictions during those years were expunged, though. Parker is now seeking the return of marijuana seized by Canada Post. Why would they pick a fight with Terry Parker? So, the court said Parker made minimal effort to find a doctor. Well, he asked his family doctor, who refused. And with only 431 out of 27,000 Ontario doctors participating, one in 63, how much more effort could they expect when he needs to ask 44 doctors to have an even 50-50 chance of finding one? That's 1 minus 62 over 63 to the 44th power. So, Canada Post are going to burn Parker's seized medicine because Health Canada didn't come up with an MMAR regime his doctor's association could accept. His not being exempt is proof the exemption regime did not comply with the Parker court's order to make Terry Parker exempt. How could Health Canada ever claim they ever complied with the order of the Parker court to protect Terry Parker when he never got an exemption? He only got an application form his doctor refused to sign. That's not what the court meant by compliance with its order for a new, uh, to exempt Parker. And who expects Parker to look for a new doctor when 62 out of 63 Ontario doctors weren't participating? So basically, Parker says, hey, I shouldn't have to convince my doctor, you should. And they're saying, no, you should have to convince your doctor. So... So, the Parker Memorandum is at johntermel.com slash parker.doc or parker.text with details at all. So, all, and I'll read that in the video next. So, all the MedPot Magnificent Seven applicants are legitimate medical users under judicial attack due to a malfunctioning MMAR exemption to the CDSA prohibition. All of them couldn't find a doctor for years, and all of them eventually found a doctor to prove medical need. This is a regime that works? Well, Health Canada was swamped with applications in 2010 and not meeting their promised 8 to 10 week processing time. Rob McCready got his application signed by his doctor, sent it in, waited, used this prescribed medicine anyway, got charged with possession after four months, received his exemption after six months, not 8 to 10 weeks, 26 weeks. Even the convicting judge rude had he gotten it on time, he wouldn't have been before the court. So his appeal of the first offense on his new criminal record was dismissed. No Disneyland for his kids, because Health Canada it was three times too long. To get an idea of the import granted these seven diverse herbal appeals, 
The Ontario Court of Appeal agreed to hear them all together and let non-lawyer John Thurmell lay out their arguments since I wrote them and let me tape record it, which I've transcribed at yahoogroups.com slash group slash medpot slash messages slash 2957. So, Friday, May 23rd, 2012, seven separate applications for leave to appeal the Ontario Court of Appeals dismissals to the Supreme Court of Canada were filed all at once. Even the clerk got reinforcements for the assembly line. I also thought it was serendipitous that your office was on the next block from the Supreme Court, so it was easy to bring you an actual souvenir copy of Parker's case. You tweet 120,000 people. You can keep Pierre's promise by helping Terry Parker's Medput Magnificent Seven obtain leave from the Supreme Court of Canada to appeal their sad fates. It sure would be nice if you could use your offices to put the government on the spot about the agonies being suffered by the legitimately sick Canadians being dragged through the courts over access to the best herbal medication their medical condition calls for. And we don't only lose people using my defense forms at johntermel.com slash termelkits.htm are getting withdrawals, stays, or great deals. So johntermel.com slash wins.txt is a list of the recent winners. If they don't abolish the prohibition, everyone puts up the total fight right to the top two. We've had one application, three, and now a wave of seven, and the next one is already building below. So how can the MMAR have complied with Parker 2000 when Parker was never exempted? Should Parker have been expected to search for the one in 63 Ontario doctors who were participating? <clears throat> And should Robert McCready be saddled with a criminal record, first offense, he would have never received had Health Canada not been four months late with his exemption. And should the exemptees get criminal records because none could find a doctor before being charged and only found one after due to my MedPot support network? So should the bogus convictions for laughing grass offenses registered while there was a bad exemption be expunged? They weren't. Now that the truth of this herbal remedy's anti-cancer properties are known, it's too lunatic to countenance its prohibition with nuclear cancers on the way. Nothing short of total decriminalization is going to do. So you can keep Pierre's promise to my generation and yours 40 years late, but nevertheless kept if you help now. But if you, I win this without you, well then the promise will never have been kept. You must admit, seven applications at once at the Supreme Court of Canada is a pretty spectacular assault. So will Justin Trudeau help Terry Parker Medpot Magnificent Seven at the Supreme Court of Canada?